Any parent would say that when they hold their, their first child for the first time, it's, uh, it's off the charts. And it was for us as well. Uh, she was born with some, with some physical challenges. And I always say to this day, she's the toughest person I ever met. Megan, as a child growing up, was always full of life. And you never saw her without a smile. Very athletic, but as much as anything, just made friends overnight that to this day are lasting friends. There's, there's nothing that uh, will ever diminish the memory and uh, her legacy. You know, I was a, a huge proponent of, uh, of independence. I always taught Megan, uh, you know, never think that you have to depend on anybody else. Never think that because you're a female that you're anything less or can compete anything less than anybody on this planet. And don't ever, I always told her this, don't ever let anybody tell you. Don't ever let anybody tell you you can't do something you want to do. The independence that my wife Jeannie and I worked to instill in both of our children was personified when we saw Megan with a bag over her shoulder, climbing on that plane with all of her friends, heading off to Europe. And to see your sophomore in college get on that plane, you know, that independence uh, shined. We would fire Skype up and with Megan probably, oh goodness, five, six times a week, you know, catch up with her with the things that she was doing and where she was going and the different cities and countries within Europe that she had the privilege to travel to. It allowed her to really have a paradigm shift in her thinking of the world. It broadened her outlook to be able to understand how the world works, how different people live. I recall so clearly that when she came back, she just looked different. She had a different outlook. You could see it. It was a, it was a very, is a significant maturity. Well, the endowment is very different than just raising funds on an annual basis to provide for a student or a scholarship or a, just a, a fund package. The endowment sets forward a fund that will stand alone. It will be managed professionally that will provide that student with the funds needed to go and enjoy and learn from that experience. We saw with Megan and a number of her friends that were students, that was a lasting experience and it permeates through one's life. I would argue that it's, it's not just the students that, that study or go study uh, internationally, but it's that experience that's brought back to Lipscomb. It's not just about writing a check. It's about engaging into the process so you firsthand see the results of it. The results are, are real. So we would ask that you not only consider a donation, but to engage in the process, to come and meet the students, come and see the students, and see them then when they come back. And that's what will make it meaningful for you. When Megan returned, she landed over here at the airport, and I came up, a number of the parents were over there, and it was like one in the morning, you know, that they're landing. There must have been 50 Lipscomb students to welcome them. I even thought about it at that time. I thought, man, look at all these students that didn't get to go. This many got to go, this many did not get to go. And to be able to think about sponsoring some student, to be able to do something like this is, is really material. And to be able to create a path that other students, like Megan, could take advantage of and come back with the maturity and the vision into their future that she did is everything.